Hello, and today we are meeting for a mock interview and uh, the purpose for this uh, interview is totally academic purpose. This we are doing mock interview very close to the actual setting and then uh, the purpose for this is to help students, newcomers who wanted to be a medical writer or a clinical researcher and they just wanted to see that how interview looks like. So let me introduce myself. My name is Sarabjit Sidhu and I have uh, more than 14 years of experience. I authored two books, one on dedicated to medical writing, one to a clinical research. So uh, today we are interviewing uh, for a role of a narrative writing. So this is a beginner uh, entry level role in a medical writing. So may I request you to introduce yourself? Hello. Thank you, ma'am. I'm Dr. Mohammad Adnan Sheikh. I had pursued my doctor of pharmacy and currently I'm doing my internship. And uh, along with that, I'm also a content writer and uh, I had written several blogs, articles, research articles during my academic journeys. Yeah, thank you. That That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, then you said that you are already working as writer you you're working on the content right so can you tell me a little more about this role what you write what kind of documents you work on i write on uh health related uh health related things uh that would be you know like search engine optimization uh for getting more uh public response on social media i submit my document to the uh to the higher authority and then they approve my document and i also work as a graphic designer along with that all right all right that that's good so uh, can you tell me what you know about medical writing and one second is why it is important part of a clinical research Medical writing is a scientific document that is well structured in a scientific way and uh, it is, you know, written in a very well concise and clear format for regulatory authority or for the, for the audience that we are writing for. So it is one of the most important part in a clinical research for uh, writing, writing the document. Okay. Can you give me the names of some medical writing document? What are the different type of medical writing documents? A any document name? Uh, documents for regulatory writing, like uh, for every phase, we prepare a document uh, that we call it as a clinical uh, clinical study reports, CSR. And uh, also mm -hmm. uh, we write as a narrative writing uh, for every phase, uh, any, any adverse effect, ad 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 adverse events or any adverse drug reactions that occurs mm -hmm. during the phase that we write mm -hmm. it as a narrative writing and we attach it with the CSR. And uh, also uh, we write documents on uh, on scientific literature as well. After the- Any Anything like protocol or something like? Yes, a protocol. Yes. We write protocol, mm -hmm. investigation, investigative brochures, uh, as well as uh, we, we write it from the source documents or the concept of proof, proof of concept. Yeah, that, that's good, that's good. And uh, what are some key skills according to you that a medical writer must have? Any three key three skills that according to you, a medical writer must have these skills? There are three major skills that a medical mm -hmm. writer should be having. One is very mm -hmm. basic skills that is requiring uh, knowledge of, you know, like scientific knowledge should be there and uh, delivering the knowledge content in a very easy format that that should be that should be readable and very easy that should not change its meaning so mm -hmm. this is one of the first thing and the second one is uh scientific knowledge should be there uh the person who is writing he or she should be having a very well scientific knowledge uh whether uh and third one is uh ICH GCP guidelines or regulatory bodies uh, should having a knowledge of these regulatory bodies and a clinical research knowledge should be there for uh, mm -hmm. medical writing so that it can be written in a very well format. Excellent, excellent. So um, as you as you have said that these medical writing uh, writing documents we are writing for a licensing authority regulatory bodies. So that means the accuracy is the key thing. So how as a medical writer, you will ensure that 
document is accurate and it is correct and, and, and it has a clarity. How you will ensure that uh, the two things, clarity and accuracy? So first of all, uh, I'll be following a checklist while uh, writing. <laughs> uh, so and also I will be doing myself uh, quality control things uh, after the writing, whether it, it is written very well or not and uh, reviewing it by my own self. And after that, uh, if our team is having a quality control uh, re or review work in a medical writing team, I'll be submitting to them and will get uh, any comments or any reviews from them. So I'll be checking it like that. All right, all right. So I uh, suppose um, you, as you said that you are submitting it to a reviewer in your in-house team. Suppose the reviewer um, gave a lot many comments you know, in your document and how you will handle that feedback, how you will address those comments. So I will be reviewing my checklist again and uh, I'll be uh, checking out all the document and, uh, and the proof again. And then I'll be having a contact with the uh, reviewer and uh, will note out all the comments so that I, it can be used for the future purposes. All right. All right. So, uh, thank you. Um, can you tell me uh, what guideline we use to write safety narrative? We use uh, E3 guidelines for safety narratives. Uh, that is also same for the CSR as well. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Uh, how many principles are there in uh, ICHGCP? There are total 13 principles for ICHGCP guidelines. All right. Can you tell me, uh, you know, the f about five principles, little in detail? So the first principle is ethical. Ethical, mm -hmm. you, the trial that is being conducted it should be ethically and uh, mm -hmm. uh, as per the uh, Helsinki, as per mm -hmm. the Helsinki rules. And the second one is uh, risk versus benefit. So mm -hmm. if, if the trial is conducted, so it should be having more benefit as compared to the risk while uh, performing the trial so that it it the trial get more beneficial to the patient the third one is safety right safety and well-being of the patient so the, during the trial the patient should be you know like involuntary participate to during the trial so that uh, the patient rights and uh, safety of the medication and safety of the patients as well patient safety is also one of the most important thing during the clinical trial so it should be there and uh, for the fourth one is the investigational product. So there should be all, every uh, all information that should be there for the investigational product before the trial is being conducted so that uh, it should be, you know, like approved and it should be very ethical during the trial while uh, conducting trial on a patient. And, uh, the uh, and the fifth one is the protocol. Uh, fifth one is the protocol. Well. Mm -hmm. So protocol sounds scientifically well. So it should be, you know, like uh, is compared to, is, it should be following the ICH GCP guidelines. Uh, E6 guidelines is one of the, you know, like used for the protocol writing and uh, it should be very well uh, written. So that, right. uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, another thing is that are you, when you are working as a medical writing, currently you know that there is AI is a lot in trend, softwares are in trend. Are you using any tools or softwares for medical writing uh, currently? Do you have exposure to some tools, softwares? Yes, ma'am. I do have uh, exposure to <laughs> some of the tools like Grammarly and the note mm -hmm. i i during my you know like initial during my this uh, writing uh, articles or documents for content writing i i use this uh, softwares and tools uh, for grammarly it is it is very useful for uh, you know like writing it very well in the grammar grammar should be very well while writing it right. so so for 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 this purpose, Grammarly is one of the best thing. And for citations, you know, like uh, for review article or research article, citations are one of the most important thing. Uh, there are very different type of citations. So for citing of the article, uh, EndNote is one of the most important, one, one of the best uh, tool for uh, referencing okay. the article. 
All right, all right. That's good. That's good. So now my one final question to you is that as you already have a little exposure to, a, you know, medical writing, what really motivates you to pursue a career uh, in a medical writing? So I like writing. I enjoy writing. And, you know, many of times I learn a lot from writing. Uh, whenever I work on any new things or new project or new work, so uh, I, I I came to know many, many new things, uh, whether it should be related to the healthcare or it should be related to the pharmacology or pharmacotherapy, that is uh, towards our field. So I like and enjoy writing. Whenever I post it on my social media, uh, I learn a lot from writing. And so I enjoy writing more. And uh, that also, you know, like uh, help me to pursue more, more in writing. And whenever I write, I every time uh, my writing gets better. And oh, that learning, that learning, is... learning also uh, gets more, you know, while writing. <laughs> Great. So that's all from my side. Thank you so much for coming um, for this interview. We really appreciate your time. Do you have any question for me? Thank you, ma'am, for the interview. I do. Uh, I have a question. Like, uh, I'll be working in a in in a team with your organization. So, how uh, as 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 I know, like uh, your organization is you know like very much bigger. So, I, uh, on how many how many people will be there in my team, and how I will be. There, I, I, how I will be work, working with them. And the second thing is, uh, will I get uh, any opportunity apart from the role that I, I, I had been given for the writing on other okay. documents? All right. So first question first, you will be working as a safety narrative writer. Uh, we have already a team of uh, 20 people. So you will be uh, working as a one of the associate. We have also a layer of uh, reviewers who have a uh, more experience. They will be reviewing the documents. And there is a team lead also than a manager. So in total, uh, we have a uh, 20 team members. Second, uh, exposure to other documents. If you, once you are settled in this role and if you have an interest right so then uh, you can um, you will be getting more opportunities to work on other uh, documents and that totally depends on your hard work okay ma'am thank you so much thank you so much and uh, you will get the feedback from hr or about the further steps thank you so much appreciate your time